Hi, I'm Clark from Palo Verde. Support for today's Varsity Quiz is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's Coronado <laughs> and Palo Verde. This is Varsity Quiz. Welcome to the 51st season of Varsity Quiz. We've got the best and brightest high school students matching wits in this unique academic competition. So tonight, the road to the Silver League Championship continues. Coronado's taken on Palo Verde. We started with 14 schools in two divisions. Here we are at the first of our two semifinal matches. Coronado defeated Centennial in the quarterfinals. Let's meet their starters. We've got Frank. Hey, Frank. Good to see you. There's Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Hello. Josh. And Saad, ladies and gentlemen, Coronado. Okay, now for Palo Verde, they came out on top over Liberty, Liberty in the quarterfinals, and their starters are, there's Blake. Hey, Blake. Hi. There's Clark. Hi, Clark. Hi. Andrea. Hi. And Pev. Ladies and gentlemen, Palo Verde. Ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. What category of words is illustrated by the similar pairs of words in these sentences? How much produce does your garden produce? And that'll be Coronado, Josh. Homographs. That is incorrect, and it's an interruption. And you go ahead, Palo Verde Clark. Homonyms. No, we were looking for heteronyms. No points, we move on. The headwaters of these rivers are in which state? The North Platte, Belforche, Snake, and Green. That's Palo Verde, Pev. Idaho. Incorrect. Coronado, Frank. Texas. Incorrect, it's Wyoming. No points, we move on. The Kaiserlich Marine High Seas Fleet took on the Royal Navy's Grand Fleet in which World War I battle? Coronado, Josh. Trafalgar. Incorrect. And time, we're looking for the Battle of Jutland. Next is a calculation question. If two squares are chosen at random on a checkerboard, what's the probability they'll have a side in common? Repeating, if two squares are chosen at random on a checkerboard, what's the probability they have a side in common? Uh, Palo Verde, Pev? Eight to 63. I believe that's incorrect. Coronado, Saad. Six out of 64. Does that add up? No, we're looking for one in 18. We move on, no points yet. Uh, let's see. What female British novelist's name is presented in these anagrams? Cat on her blotter, let no brother act, betroth to Lancer. Palo Verde, Clark. Bronta. I believe we can accept that. Yes, points now for Palo Verde. We move on. You must do what to turn these English words into their Spanish cognates? Specialty, fidelity, complicity, fraternity. Palo Verde, Andrea. Change ITY to edad. I believe we can accept that. The judges are thinking it over. Yes, that is correct. More points for Palo Verde. Next question. Spell the word that names the thick muscle in the cheek that closes the jaw when chewing. Coronado Saad. Buccinator. No, we were looking for a spelling. Palo Verde Clark. B-U-X-I-N-A-T-O-R. Buccinator. Well, that's the wrong word, so we we're looking for masseter, which is M-A-S-S-E-T-E-R. No points, we move on. Reminiscent of a mythical titan, what term for the top cervical vertebra is also Coronado Saad. Atlas. Correct. Bon and, uh, points now for Coronado. Uh, next question. What legendary sailing ship is central to an opera by Richard Wagner? Palo Verde, Pev. The Flying Dutchman. Yes. Points for Palo Verde. Next question. What are the three throwing events in the Olympic? Coronado, Josh. Shot put, discus, and javelin. Name those again. Shot put, discus, and javelin. Yes, points for Coronado. Next question, name any American Indian tribe whose name begins with the letter K. Time, we had Kansa, Kathwamet, Kickapoo, or Kiowa. No points, we move on. Gasoline is stored in red containers. What color of container stores diesel fuel? 
Palo Verde, Andrea? Black. Incorrect. Coronado, Caleb? Green. No, it's yellow. Next question. These people are paired with what kind of nicknames? Kamehameha I, Napoleon of the Pacific. Genghis Khan, the accursed. Albert II, the Fox of Mecklenburg, Harold III, Hammer of the North, and Louis XV, the First Gentleman of Europe. <laughs> Coronado, Josh. Epithets? No. <laughs> Time, we're looking for sobriquets. Next is a calculation question. To the nearest whole meter, a bowling ball falling from a high bridge will have what velocity after six seconds? Repeating to the nearest whole meter, a bowling ball falling from a high bridge will have what? We'll go with Coronado, Josh. 60 meters per second. Judges, no. Palo Verde, Blake. Uh, 490 meters per second? No, we were looking for 59 meters per second. Next question, snails and slugs are gastropods. This term comes from two Latin words meaning foot and blank. Uh, Coronado, Josh? Stomach? Yes, points for Coronado. Next question, what ordinal number corresponds to the U.S. Court of Appeals for cases in Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming? Coronado, Josh? Fourth. Incorrect. Palo Verde, Pev? It is the tenth, so no points. Next question. Name the ceremony of retiring a ship from a country's navy when it's reached the end of its usable life. Palo Verde, Pev? Decommissioning. Yes, points for Palo. Next question. What's the collective name for deep ocean sediments consisting of large percentages of the microscopic calcareous or siliceous remains of diatoms, coccoliths, foraminifers, and radiolarians? Palo Verde, Blake? Detridium. No. Coronado, Josh? Detritus. No, we're looking for ooze. Next question. A wise and patient former college professor who provided enduring advice for getting through life is detailed in Mitch Albom's memoir entitled Tuesdays with... <coughs> Palo Verde, Andrea? Maury. Correct. Points for Palo. Next question. Liberty Mutual Insurance runs commercials with several different recurring characters. One series involves an avian and human paired as partners to tell people about the ways the company can meet customers' needs. What's the human character's Palo Verde, Clark. Doug. Yes, points for Palo. Next question. These works are associated with what island? Bandanaba Saga, Gunner's Saga, Alta Saga, Laurentius Saga, Viglunder Saga, and Urbigia Saga. Coronado, Josh. Iceland. Yes. Next is a calculation question. What are the coordinates for the bottom right point that's part of the smallest rectangle that can contain all of these points? 25, 15. 40, 40, 60, Coronado, Josh. 40, 15. No, and that is an interruption. I will finish reading the question for Palo Verde. The points are 25, 15, 40, 40, 60, 30, and 50, 10. Palo Verde, Pev. 60, 40. Incorrect. We're looking for 60 and 10. No points. Next question. What tense is used in this line? By the time the cows come home, Maybell will have mooed more than 60 times. <coughs> Coronado, Josh. Future perfect. Yes. What is the only CCSD high school named for a person? <coughs> Coronado, Josh. Coronado. Incorrect. <coughs> Palo Verde, Andrea. Chaparral. No, it's Ed W. Clark. High school. Next question. What archaic adverb completes the idiom in this line? Distant thunder is heard and lightning may be seen ever and blank. <coughs> Coronado Saad. Quickly. No. <coughs> Palo Verde Clark. Eternally. No, it's ever and anon. Well, we have come to the end of round one, but before we move on, we want to learn a little bit more about our players. We're going to start with the uh, gentleman from Coronado. We have ninth grader Frank. Hi, Frank. Hi. So you wrote something about math competitions that you participate in. Yeah. I I've heard of something called math counts, or are there other things? Yeah, that only goes to middle school, though. Okay. So, um, AMC's just finished, and so I did those. Was it fun? Yes. Awesome. Well, good luck with those and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Frank. No problem. Here is 12th grader Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Hello. You are in the marching band. Yes. Do you play an instrument or are you 
the, the leader? Uh, this year I was the leader. I was a drum major, yes, okay. conducting the band. What do you normally play? Trumpet. Awesome. Well, good luck with that, although apparently your, your career is done. Are yeah. you going to keep on playing the trumpet? Uh, potentially. All right. Thank you, Caleb. Good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Here's 11th grader Josh. Hi, Josh. Hello. Uh, now, folks, I don't, I'm not saying anything about the way you look and your appearance, but you wrote that you deadlifted something that some folks find surprising. Uh, yeah, I deadlifted 475 pounds last year in weights. Um, That's pretty incredible, Josh. I was the best in the class. Did so. it hurt? Well, yeah, it hurts a lot harder on the hands than this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so the clicker's easier. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck with both. a little bit rougher both. along the edges. All right. Thanks, Josh. And here is uh, 12th grader Saad. Hi, Saad. Hi. Tell me about uh, a title that you are known as around Coronado. Oh, a lot of uh, the administrators like to call me the busiest man on campus because I'm in so, too many clubs, honestly. <laughs> Is it possible to be in too many clubs, Saad? I don't think so. But other people think so. Okay, but you're you're making it work. Yes. Awesome. Well, good luck with all of that, and good Thank luck you. here on Varsity Quiz. That's the team from Coronado. Thank you, sir. All right, now let's uh, learn a little bit more about our players from Palo Verde. We have 12th grader Blake. Hi, Blake. Hi. Uh, what's involved in the robotics? What do you do with the robotics? Well, uh, I, in the robotics team, I program the robots, and it involves a lot of um, just, you know, being able to manipulate the robot to do certain tasks. Obviously. Is this the first robotics competition, or um, just other stuff? Well, we've had a robotics competition this year already, and okay. we're going on our second one in a week or so, I think. Awesome. So we're well, good luck with that. that. Thank you. And good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Here's 11th grader Clark. Hi, Clark. Hello. Uh, did I read this correctly? It says you enjoy making tea? Yes, I love making tea. Is it a favorite flavor? Um, well, I don't really do flavors. I just do varieties. Uh, I recently got a, a pu'er from... I don't even know what yeah, that is. Yeah, it's, it's like a fermented tea okay. from like 2006. So wow. Like, it's very good. It's there are strong. rare teas. Yeah, rare teas. Well, enjoy your tea and good luck in varsity quiz. Thanks, Clark. Uh, here's 11th grader Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Hello. You wrote something about traveling that I think Maybe some folks would be amazed, maybe they won't. Do you remember what you wrote here? Not really, <laughs> but I know that I'm going to Europe to visit my sister this summer. Well, I think that will disqualify what you wrote here because you wrote you'd never traveled out of the United States. Yeah. So that's coming to an end. Yes. Well, good luck with that and good luck in our sequence. Thanks, Andrea. Here's uh, 11th grader Pev. Hi, Pev. Amy. We know that uh, on your last appearance we talked about New Zealand. So tell me about something called Meme Lord. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Did I just get it, myself in trouble? No. A meme lord is someone who like, makes and distributes, has a high knowledge of memes. Do you make memes? I do make memes. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look for them. <laughs> good luck with the memes and good luck here at Varsity Quiz. That's the team from Palo Verde. And our bonus round is next. Going into round two, we got a close match. Coronado has 15 points to Palo Verde's 25. Before we begin, we have a couple of new players wanted to say hello on Coronado to Max. Hi, Max. Hi, how are you? Doing? And Joseph. Hi. Good luck, you guys. And Palo Verde is keeping their same players from round one. The following people served as notorious spies during which conflict? Rose O'Neill Greenhow, Belle Boyd, Elizabeth Van Loo, and Sarah Emma Edmonds. <laughs> And that's Coronado, Josh. The American Civil War? Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following about the Civil War. First, the best known pro-Confederate partisan guerrillas in the Civil War were known as Who's Raiders. Second, the majority of battles during the four years took place in Virginia and what other state? All right, um, Captain? Uh, for the first one, Lee's, and for the second one, Maryland. Both are incorrect. We needed Quantrill's Raiders and Tennessee, so no bonus points. And now this question for both teams. Limbo, lust, gluttony, greed, anger, heresy, violence, fraud, and treachery are the nine circles of hell. Coronado, Josh? Dante's Inferno. That is incorrect, and that is an interruption. I'll finish the question for Palo Verde. Are the nine circles of hell, according to Dante Alighieri, along with purgatory and heaven, it forms part of which 13th century work? Palo Verde, Clark? The Divine Comedy. Yes, bonus questions now for Palo Verde only. Answer the following about literature. First, Lord Byron's poem, The Prisoner of Chalon, is set in a castle, which is today the most visited historical monument in what European country? 
Second, what category of medieval and often symbolic stories included descriptions of such creatures as dragons, griffins, and unicorns? First one, I don't know. This is Germany. It's more historic stuff to visit in Germany. Andorra. Captain. Uh, for the first, Andorra, and for the second, one man new scripts. Uh, both are incorrect. No bonus points. We're looking for Switzerland and bestiaries. Next is this question for both teams. The African kingdom of Aksum was located along the southeastern shore of the Red Sea in a region that largely today is encompassed by what modern nation? Palaverdi Pev. Somalia. Incorrect. Coronado, Josh? Eritrea? No, we were looking for Ethiopia. We move on to the next question, which is a calculation question. Your motorcycle's traveling at a constant velocity of five meters per second. You then hit the accelerator for 10 seconds, at which point you can now maintain a constant velocity of 25 meters per second. What was your rate, Coronado Max? Two meters per second squared? Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following physics calculations. First, if your souped-up go-kart accelerates at three meters per second per second from a dead stop, about how long will it take you to travel 3,000 meters? Second, an aircraft has a takeoff speed of 300 kilometers per hour. What is its acceleration if it took off in 45 seconds after starting from rest? So I'll repeat, if your souped-up go-kart accelerates at three meters per second per second from a dead stop, about how long will it take you to travel 3,000 meters? Second, an aircraft has a takeoff speed of 300 kilometers per hour. What is its acceleration if it took off in 45 seconds after starting from rest? Captain. Um, uh, for the first one, square root of 18,000. For the second, six and two thirds meters per second squared. Both incorrect. We're looking for 45 seconds and 1.85 meters per second squared. No bonus points. This question for both teams now. The champion of the American Football Conference receives which trophy? It honors one of the principal founders of the American Football League. Palo Verde, Andrea? The Lombardi Trophy. No. Time, we're looking for the Lamar Hunt Trophy. Uh, no bonus points. We move on to the next question. You know, February brings a number of annual events. This year on February 25th, while Nevada juniors are taking the ACT, folks in New Orleans are going to be celebrating the day as what? Palo Verde, Andrea. Mardi Gras. Can we accept that? No. Coronado, Josh. Ash Wednesday. No, we were looking for Fat Tuesday. We move on. Uh, first used more than 17,000 years ago, what's another name for a spear thrower? Coronado, Josh? Adelaide. Yes. Bonus questions for Coronado only. Answer the following about the ancient world. First, the beauty of an Egyptian leader's iconic bust may be only skin deep. Recent CT scans reveal that beneath the surface of smooth painted stucco is the sculptor Thudmose's more realistic limestone carving of a woman with wrinkled cheeks and a bump on her nose. Name this famous queen. Second, the ancient Greek Isthmian games were staged near what isthmus connecting central Greece with the Peloponnesus? Um, so. All right, we got on that? Yeah. All right, uh, first answer, Cleopatra. Second answer, Dardanelles. Both are incorrect. We needed Nefertiti and the Isthmus of Corinth. Next question, what adjective applies to all elements with atomic numbers greater than 92? <phone rings> Palo Verde, Clark. Radioactive. Incorrect. <phone rings> Coronado, Josh. Transuranic. Yes, bonus questions now for Coronado only. Well, let's see, answer the following about chemistry. First, complete this limerick. There was a chemist once from Lahore, but sadly, the chemist's no more. For what he moments ago said was just H2O, was really H2SO blank. Second, which chemist won the 1954 Nobel Prize for his research into the nature of the chemical bond and co-authored a seminal paper that explained sickle cell anemia? Um, Pauling? Yeah. Sure, I guess he's a famous chemist. Um, what is it, Seaport? I, mean, I don't, don't know. I don't know what type. I, not, not Seaport. Um, Captain. first answer, four. Second answer, Pauling. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. And we're out of time. That is the end of the bonus round. Speed round coming up.
Going into round three, it is a close game. Coronado with 40 to Palo Verde's 30. Before we start, we have a couple of new players for Coronado. We want to say hello to Fuad. Hi, Fuad. Hi. Good luck today. Uh, Palo Verde, we have a new player. It's Owen. Hi, Owen. Hello. Good luck to you. Here we go. What bone is found at the point where the femur articulates with the tibia? Palo Verde, Andrea? Patella. Yes, points for Palo. Next question. What keyboard instrument is closely identified with the Baroque period? Coronado, Josh? Organ. No. Palo Verde, Clark? Harpsichord. Yes. Uh, what, uh, with a name synonymous with Asia Minor, what's the most extensive? Palo Verde, Clark? Turkey. Uh, that is incorrect. That is an interruption with a deduction. I'll finish the question for Coronado. Syn uh, name synonymous with Asia Minor, what is the most extensive plateau in Turkey? Coronado, Josh? Anatolia. Judges? Yes. So points for Coronado. Next question. What sub-branch of science studies the changes in Earth's climate from the earliest days of geological time? Coronado, Josh? Paleoclimatology? Yes. Next is a calculation question. Mr. Weatherby bought $32.56 worth of cartridges. He bought 20 more 19-cent cartridges than 50-cent cartridges, and he bought twice as many 32-cent cartridges as 19-cent cartridges. How many 50-cent cartridges did he buy? In the third round, we do not repeat. Palo Verde, Pev? Six. Incorrect. Coronado, Max? Four. Incorrect. We're looking for 12. We move on. The longest serving head of Stalin's secret police was Lavrenti Beria. What notorious agency did he lead? Palo Verde, Clark? KGB. Incorrect. Uh, time, we're looking for the NKDV. Next question, what type of corrosion always involves dissimilar metals in contact exposed to an electrolyte? Coronado, Fuad. Oxidation. Incorrect. We're looking for galvanic corrosion. Next question, in the contested election of 1824, the election in which the House of Representatives swung on the actions of which candidate who played kingmaker? Coronado, Josh? Clay. Yes. A next question. Gustatory imagery appeals to what sense? Palo Verde, Clark? Taste. Yes. The uh, next question. These are the last lines from a novel by what American author? Ah, Bartleby. Ah, humanity. Palo Verde, Clark? Dickens. No. I believe that is after or before? That was after. Okay, so we were looking for Herman Melville. Next question. What gulf is adjacent to Benghazi, Libya? Coronado, Josh. Aden. Incorrect. Palo Verde, Pev? Tripoli. No, the Gulf of Sidra. What fins on humpback whales are unusually long? Coronado, Josh? Dorsal. No. Palo Verde, Clark? Pectoral. Yes. When the British threatened to capture Philadelphia, the Continental Congress moved to what Maryland town for several months? Palo Verde, Andrea? Annapolis. Yes. Name the early embryological stage that consists of a hollow mass of cells. Palo Verde, Andrea? Zygote. No. Coronado, Max? Blastocyst. Say that again? Blastocyst. I don't believe that's correct. No, we're looking for blastula. Next question. These are examples of what kind of verbs? Think over, blow up, agree with, and come across. Palo Verde, Clark? Compound. No. Uh, I believe that's after the bell. We're looking for phrasal verbs. Next question. In addition to frostbite, what other skin problem associated with exposure to moist uh, Palo Verde Pev? Hypothermia. No, and that is an interruption with a point deduction. I'll finish the question. With exposure to moist, cold, and rewarming produces reddish, swollen, itchy, painful patches of skin. Coronado, Josh. Psoriasis. No, it's chillblains. Next question is a calculation question. The fastest recorded hardball pitch is 105.1 miles per hour. To the nearest whole number, how many kilometers per hour was it thrown? And that's Coronado, Max. Uh, point one. Pardon me? Point one. Incorrect. Palo Verde, Pev. 163. That's incorrect. We're looking for 169. What Lebanese city on the Mediterranean coast north of Tyre and south of Beirut was one of the two most powerful city-states of ancient Phoenicia? Coronado, Fuad? Jericho. Incorrect. Palo Verde, Pev? 
Carthage. No, we're looking for Sidon or Sidon. The first attempted Spanish occupation of the Californias was the establishment of Mission San Bruno on the Baja Peninsula in 1683 by the Jesuit missionary Eusebio Hu. Time, we're looking for Kino or Kino. What number, when used as an idiom, means to eject or throw something out? Coronado, Josh? Six. No? It's 86. Somebody got 86. Next question. The American creator of the Alex Cross detective series and the Women's Murder Club series is James who? Paterverde, Andrea? Patterson. Yes. What state <laughs> occupies most of the Del Marva Peninsula? Coronado, Josh? Maine. No? Coronado, I think that Paterverde, Pev? Delaware. Yes. Uh, next question. Argentiferous ores contain what metal? Coronado, Josh? Silver. Yes. Uh, all rulers of Muscovy were called Grand Princes until 1547, when who was crowned as the first Russian Tsar? Coronado, Fuad? Peter the Great. Incorrect. Palaverde, Clark? Ivan the Terrible. Yes. In Greek myth, what did Clotho spin, Lachesis measure, and Atropos cut? Palaverde, Clark. The threads of life? Yes. What's the western boundary of the African geological plate? I believe he got in in time, so that's Coronado Josh. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Yes, and we're out of time. We might have a close match here. Let's find out who won. And our final score, one of the closest matches we've had on Varsity Quiz, Coronado comes out on top with 70 points to Palo Verde's 65. Thanks to both teams for an excellent match, and congratulations to Coronado. They move on to the Silver League Finals. Now next week, it's going to be our second semifinal match. Defending Silver League champion Clark will be taking on Shadow Ridge. Oh, by the way, we hope you know you can follow Varsity Quiz on the social medias. On Twitter, look for Varsity Quiz. On Facebook, search for Kiwanis Varsity Quiz. We'll see you next Monday at 7.30 right here on Vegas PBS. Good night.